السلام علیکم لیکچر نمبر پندرہ لے کر ڈاکٹر محمد تجمل چکتائی حاضر ہے آج کے لیکچر میں ہم گزشتہ لیکچر سے ہی آگے کچھ میش ٹیکنیکس کا انیلیسز سیکھیں گے ان مثالوں میں ہم آج دیکھیں گے کچھ سادہ قسم کی میش انیلیسز اس کے بعد ہم کچھ ایڈوانس میش انیلیسز سے متعلق پرابلمز کا سلوشن ڈھونڈیں گے سب سے پہلے جو ہم مثال حل کرنے جا رہے ہیں اس میں ایک ریزسٹیو نیٹ ورک کو لیا گیا ہے اس ریزسٹیو نیٹ ورک میں ہر ریزسٹنس کے اکراس وولٹیج ڈراپ کو پہلے سے ہی مہیا کر دیا گیا ہے اور ہم نے مختلف پوائنٹس کے درمیان وولٹیج کے لیول کو کیلکولیٹ کرنا ہے اس سے ملتی جلتی مثال ہم پچھلے لیکچر میں کر چکے ہیں لیکن فرق صرف یہ ہے کہ اس مثال میں تمام ریزسٹنسز کے اکراس وولٹیج ڈراپ کی ویلیو کو دیا گیا ہے جبکہ اس مثال میں وولٹیج ڈراپس مہیا نہیں کیے گئے تھے آئیے سلائیڈ پر پہلی مثال کو دیکھتے ہیں The slide shows a resistive network consisting of three resistances and an independent voltage source having a value of 12 volts. We want to calculate the voltages between the points A, D and A, C. Now obviously you can see that these values which are desired to be calculated, they are not the ordinary values as we have been doing earlier on that we wanted to calculate between the reference point and one of the points. These are just among the two points. Now, if you see onto the slide, we have marked this circuit with points A, B, C, and D. Now starting from A, we can see that the first resistance has been provided with a voltage drop across it having a value of 6 volts. The resistance which is next to that and is attached between the point B and C has a voltage drop value of 4 volts across it, whereas the last resistance, which is between the points C and D, have been marked as having a voltage drop value of 2 volts across it. Now, looking upon the desired voltage levels, which have been asked into the question, we can draw the imaginary lines between the point A and D, the points a and C. Now, these imaginary lines or arrows, we can consider them as they are having connected an imaginary voltage level in between them. And these voltage levels, as shown in this slide, have been marked as accordingly VAC, VAD. Now, we can clearly see that the point A has been directly attached to the positive terminal of the 12 volt source. Also, we can observe that the point D has been directly connected as well to the negative terminal of the 12 volt source or the 12 volt battery. Therefore, clearly we can see that the value of the desired voltage, which is one of the voltage levels asked into the question VAD, can be declared as 12 volts. Now, there is no physical closed path between points A and C. We can consider two closed paths A, C, B, A and a, C, D, A. Now, as we have mentioned, these two closed paths, 
ان سے ہم دیکھ سکتے ہیں کہ سٹارٹنگ فرام دا پوائنٹ اے کس طرح سے کسی بھی ایک لوپ کو کنسیڈر کرتے ہوئے ہم اپنی لوپ اکویشن یا کے وی ایل اکویشن کو لکھ سکتے ہیں اس میں کوئی فرق نہیں پڑے گا کہ ہم ایک لوپ لیں یا اس کے دوسرا راستہ اختیار کریں جواب ایک ہی آئے گا آئیے اس کی فردر ٹریٹمنٹ کو دیکھتے ہیں ناؤ اف وی اپلائی کے وی ایل اکویشن فار دا پاتھ اے سی بی اینڈ اے اوبیسلی ایز وی ہیو بین ڈوئنگ فار دا میش انالیسز دیٹ وی چوز ون پوائنٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ فرام اینڈ پروسیڈ ٹوڈس دا لاسٹ پوائنٹ اینڈ کم بیک ٹو دا انیشیل پوائنٹ لیٹس اسٹارٹ فرام دا پوائنٹ اے starting from the point a and moving towards the point c we can see that there is an imaginative voltage source which has been marked as vac therefore we can write plus vac we have considered that the terminal of the voltage source vac which is towards the point A, bears a positive sign. Now, after writing this, we move forward to the point C. And from point C, because we have already chosen the path A, C, B, and A, therefore, from point C, we will be moving towards the point B. As we are standing on to the point C and looking on to the point B, we can see there is a resistance in between the point C and B. And the terminal of the resistance, which is towards the point C, that has been marked as a negative. Therefore, we will write minus there. And the voltage drop across this resistance has been given as 4 volts. Therefore, we write next to that negative sign 4 and we go through this circuit element and reach at point B. Now reaching at point B we will be facing towards the point A and we can also see that a resistive element also exists between the point B and A. This resistive element has been provided with a value of 6 volts across it and also the terminal of this resistance which is towards the point B has been marked as negative. Therefore, we put a negative sign and next to that we will write the voltage drop across this resistance which is 6. After crossing this resistance we reach back at, at the point A. Ab jab ke hum point A par wapas pahun chuke hain aur humare buniyadi mesh analysis ya phir loop analysis ki shart ke mutabik kisi bhi circuit ka koi bhi element ek se zayid martaba repeat nahi kiya ja sakta lihaza hume yahan par stop karna hoga aur humne jo expression likha hai اس کو ہم ایکویٹ کریں گے زیرو کے برابر آئیے اس سرکٹ کی فردر ٹریٹمنٹ کو ایک مرتبہ پھر سلائیڈ پر دیکھتے ہیں سو وی ایکویٹ دس ایکسپریشن وچ از وی اے سی مائنس فور مائنس سکس ایکولز زیرو اینڈ اف وی ری ارینج دس ایکسپریشن وی اینڈ اپ ود وی اے سی ہیونگ اے ویلو آف 10 volts. Aziz Talaba, Jaisa ke humne pehle aapko bataya ke dono loop mein se koi ek bhi loop le kar hum analysis karein to jawab ek hi aayega. Ab jab ke humne loop A, C, B aur A le kar V, A, C ki value ko calculate kar liya hai aur hum jaante hain ke iska jawab 10 volts aaya hai. Aap ke ایکسپیرینس کے لیے ہم دوسری لوپ کا انالیسز بی لیں گے یعنی دوسری لوپ اے سی ڈی اور اے ہوگی 
और इसका जवाब भी 10 वोल्ट ही आना चाहिए आइए इस प्रोसेस को स्लाइड पर देखते हैं टेकिंग सेकेंड पाथ विच इज ए सी डी एंड ए एंड वी अप्लाई के वी एल टू दिस लूप सो दैट वी कैन राइट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ए गोइंग टूअर्स द पॉइंट सी वी एनकाउंटर वंस अगेन द इमेजिनेटिव वी ए सी वोल्टेज सोर्स देर फोर वी राइट प्लस वी ए सी plus sign depicts that the terminal which is towards the point a has been considered as a positive terminal next we go through this vac source and reach at the point c now because we are going to take the path ac da therefore standing at the point c we will be facing towards the point d once again we encounter a resistance in between the point c and d also the voltage drop given across this resistance has been marked as 2 volts and the terminal of the resistance which is towards the point c has been marked as positive therefore after writing vac we write plus 2 and we go through this resistance and reach at the point d after reaching at the point d once again we will be facing towards the point a however we encounter another voltage source in between the point d and point a and that voltage source has been given a value of 12 volts also the terminal of the voltage source which is towards the point d that is negative therefore we will write vac plus 2 minus 12 equals 0 now rearranging this equation once again we end up with the same result as we have been calculating into the previous slide that is vac is equal to 10 volts अजीज तलबा इस मिसाल में आपने देखा कि एक वोल्टेज जो कि हमें क्वेश्चन में रिक्वायर्ड थी वो डायरेक्टली एक वोल्टेज सोर्स के अक्रॉस पूछी गई थी लिहाजा उसको कैलकुलेट करने की कोई जरूरत ना थी इसलिए हमने डायरेक्टली उसकी वैल्यू को ही उस वैल्यू के बराबर रख के उस जो कि उस वोल्टेज सोर्स की वैल्यू थी उसको बता दिया दूसरे केसेस में जो कि दो अदर वोल्टेजेस हमसे डिमांड की गई थी उसमें हमने देखा कि किस तरह से एक इमेजिनेटिव वोल्टेज सोर्स को कंसीडर करके एक लूप को लेकर उस इमेजिनेटिव वोल्टेज सोर्स को कैलकुलेट किया गया और फिर ये भी कंपैरिजन आपने देखा कि अगर हम अल्टरनेटिव लूप को ले लें तो फिर भी जवाब वही आता है इसकी मजीद मिसालें आप अपनी टेक्स्ट बुक में लेकर उनको प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं अजीज तलबा इससे अगली मिसाल इस मिसाल से मिलती जुलती है फर्क सिर्फ इतना है कि अगली मिसाल में हमने दो वोल्टेज सोर्सेस जो कि इंडिपेंडेंट वोल्टेज सोर्सेस हैं उनको रेजिस्टिव नेटवर्क में इस्तेमाल किया गया है और तमाम रेजिस्टेंसेस के क्रॉस एक मरतबा फिर वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स की वैल्यूज को मुहैया कर दिया गया है आइए स्लाइड पर इस मिसाल को देखते हैं स्लाइड शोज अ सर्किट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू वोल्टेज सोर्सेस ईच हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ सिक्स एंड ट्वेल्व वोल्ट देर आर only two resistances which have been used into this circuit the top resistance have been marked with a voltage drop of 10 volts across it whereas the bottom resistance has been marked as having a voltage drop across it as 8 volts now 
we have also marked the various points or the nodes for this circuit as A, B, C and D. We want to calculate the values of V, A, C, the voltage difference which will appear between the point A and the point C. Also, we want to calculate V, D, B, that is once again the potential difference which will appear for this circuit between the points B and D. Now, looking upon these voltages, if we draw our imaginative voltage sources, then the circuit will look like this. We join the points A and C, also we join the points B and D. However, we mark the respective imaginative voltages in between these two points so that we can calculate these values and we consider that these voltage sources are having those values which have been asked into the question. Once again, if we consider the voltage VAC, we can also see two paths for it to calculate. The first path may be A, C, D and back to A and the other path may be A, C, B and A. Now, if we apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law to the loop A, C, D and A, once again we can easily write our equation as starting from the point A and going towards the point C, once again we have imaginative voltage source V A C in between. Also, we consider that the terminal of V A C which is towards the point A is positive. Now, we have considered it as positive because it is directly attached to the higher level of the voltage source having a value of 12 volts. Therefore, we can write plus V A C. We go through this imaginative circuit element and reach at the point C. Now, because we have already decided to follow the path A, C, D and A, therefore, when we reach at the point C, we will be looking towards the point D. Looking on to the point D, we see that there exists a resistive element between the point C and point D. Also, this resistive element has been marked with the voltage drop across it having a value of 8 volts. And the terminal of this resistance which is towards the point C has been marked as positive. Therefore, after V A C we will write plus 8. After writing this, we go through this resistive element to reach at the point D. After reaching at the point D, we will be looking towards the point A and once again we encounter a 12 volt voltage source in between the points A and D. Also, we can see that the negative terminal of this voltage source has been attached to the point D. Therefore, while looking towards point A from the point D, we can see a negative sign. Therefore, we will write minus and the value of this voltage source which is 12 and equate all this to 0. Simplifying this expression, we can have V A C is equal to 4 volts. Ab jab ke humne path A C D A ko lete huye, 
वी ए सी की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट कर लिया है लिहाजा हम ऑल्टरनेटिव मैश को कंसिडर करते हुए एक मरतबा फिर जैसा कि हमने पिछली मिसाल में किया था वी ए सी की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करने की कोशिश करेंगे और इस केस में भी दोनों जवाब एक दूसरे के बराबर ही आएंगे ये प्रैक्टिस सिर्फ इसलिए करवाई जा रही है ताकि आप एग्जामिनेशन में कंफ्यूज ना हो या फिर कभी प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ में आप कंफ्यूज ना हो किसी भी रूट को इख्तियार करते हुए आप कैलकुलेशंस कर सकते हैं और घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है किसी भी रूट को लेते हुए जो आप सेम ही आएगा आइए दूसरा अल्टरनेटिव रूट लेते हुए हम एक मरतबा फिर वी की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करते हैं नाउ वी टेक द रूट ए सी बी ए टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ए सी वंस अगेन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ए स्टैंडिंग एट द पॉइंट ए एंड लुकिंग टूवर्ड्स द पॉइंट सी वी एनकाउंटर वी ए सी इन बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट therefore we write vac with a positive sign next to it we go through this imaginative circuit element and reach at the point c once we reach at the point c and because in this case we have decided to follow the path ac b and a therefore we will be looking towards the point b while looking towards the point b we see that there exists an independent voltage source between the point b and c and that voltage source is having a value of 6 volts the point c has been attached to the positive terminal of the voltage source therefore we will write plus 6 we go through this circuit element which is independent voltage source and reach at the point b once we reach at the point b we will be looking towards the point a and in fact this is the only way you can look into while looking on to the point a we see that there is an other resistive element in between the point a and b this resistance has been marked as having a voltage drop across it a value for that drop is 10 volts and the terminal of this resistance which is towards the point b is negative therefore we will write minus 10 and we reach at the point a which is our starting point therefore we equate all this to zero simplifying it we can find vac is equal to 4 volts aziz talaba ek martaba phir humne dekha ki koi bhi loop lete hue uske alternative paths को कंसिडर करें और किसी एक वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट करें तो किसी भी रास्ता को इख्तियार करते हुए उसका जवाब एक ही आएगा आइए अब दूसरी रिक्वायर्ड वोल्टेज जो कि हमें क्वेश्चन में एट द बिगनिंग पूछा गया था उसको स्लाइड पर कैलकुलेट करते हैं टू फाइंड आउट the voltage vbd we also can see that there are two paths and these paths are bd cb and bd ab if we consider the path bd cb first and we start writing the kvl equation from the point b for this mesh 
Starting from the point B and looking towards the point D, we can see that once again there is a imaginative voltage source VBD. Therefore, we will write minus VBD. After reaching at the point D, we will be facing towards the point C and we can see that there exists a resistance between the points C and D and the voltage drop across this resistance has been given as 8 volts. Also, the terminal towards the point D has been marked as negative. Therefore, we will write minus 8. We go through this resistance and reach at the point C. While we are at the point C, we will be facing towards the point B. And in between the points C and B, we can see that there exists a 6 volt voltage source. And the positive terminal of this voltage source has been connected to the point C. Therefore, we will write plus 6. And now, because we have reached at the point B, which was our starting point, therefore, we have to stop writing the equation any further and equate this whatever we have written to 0. Simplifying it, we can have a value of minus V B D is equal to 2 volts. Now, once again, V B D is equal to minus 2 volts. And if we reverse the sequence of these voltages that is we write V D B then obviously we have to write equals 2 volts. Now once again we take the alternative mesh and apply the KVL rule to this alternative mesh therefore once again starting from the point B and looking towards the point D, we can see that there exists an imaginative voltage source which has been marked as VBD. Therefore, we write minus VBD. As we reach at the point D, we will be looking towards the point a because we are following the alternative mesh. Looking towards the point A, we can see that there is once again a voltage source attached between the point A and D and that voltage source has been marked as having a value of 12 volts. And because the negative terminal of this voltage source has been attached to the point D, therefore, we will write minus 12. We go through this voltage source and reach at the point A. After reaching at the point A, we will be facing towards the point B. And also, we can see that there is a resistance between the points A and B. The voltage drop across this resistance has been given as 10 volts, whereas the terminal which is towards the point A has been marked as plus. Therefore, we will write plus and the value of the voltage drop across the resistance which is 10. After writing plus 10, we go through this resistance element to reach at the point B, which is once again our starting point. After reaching at the point B, we can equate all this expression to 0. Simplifying it, we write minus V B D is equal to 2 volts or once again we can write V B D is equal to minus 2 volts 
or once again we can write the expression for the voltage other way round that is V d B and that will be equal to 2 volts. Aziz Talaba, abhi tak humne mesh analysis mein sada tereen misale dekhi jab ke in mein kisi bhi do points ke darmiyan potential difference ko calculate karna bataya gaya tha. Aindha misalo mein hum thoda sa advanced mesh analysis seekhenge jis mein दो या उससे ज्यादा लूप्स गिवन होंगी और उनमें मुख्तलिफ किस्म के सोर्सेस भी इस्तेमाल किए गए होंगे इन लूप्स को अलहदा अलहदा से जिस तरह से मैंने पिछले लेक्चर में एक मिसाल बताई थी जो कि दो लूप्स पर मुश्तमिल थी कंसिडर करके उनकी केवीएल इक्वेशन लिखेंगे और फिर इन केवीएल इक्वेशन को सॉल्व करते हुए हम मुख्तलिफ अनोन वैल्यूज को कैलकुलेट करना सीखेंगे अगली मिसाल में दो लूप्स का एक रेजिस्टिव नेटवर्क दिखाया गया है जिसमें एक करंट सोर्स और एक वोल्टेज सोर्स इस्तेमाल की गई है अगर तो किसी लूप में कोई करंट सोर्स अटैच हुई भी हो तो उस लूप में से पास होने वाले करंट को उस वोल्टेज सोर्स के करंट के बराबर ही कंसीडर कर लिया जाएगा जबकि अगर किसी लूप में कोई करंट सोर्स अटैच ना हो तो उसमें फिर हमें एक पास होने वाले करंट की वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई वन या आई टू वट एवर सुइटेबल कंसीडर करना होगी और उसको लेकर हम आगे मुख्तलिफ कैलकुलेशन करेंगे आइए इस चीज की प्रैक्टिस स्लाइड पर दी गई मिसाल से करते हैं स्लाइड शोस अ रेजिस्टिव नेटवर्क हैविंग टू मैशेस वी गिव द नेम मैश वन टू द मैश व्हिच इज ऑन आवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड वी कंसीडर द राइट हैंड साइड मैश एज मैश टू and we want to calculate the voltage v not at the output terminals of this circuit now this circuit has also used two sources one of them is independent voltage source having a value of 12 volts and the other is an independent current source having a value of 2 milliampere now we also consider that the current passing through the mesh 1 is i1 and it is passing through the whole mesh in the clockwise direction for the mesh 2 we also have shown the path of the current passing through this mesh and coincidentally this is the same path which is been used into the current source we name this current as i2 and now because there is one current source which is attached into the mesh 2 therefore we can simply write as i2 is equal to 2 milliampere which is the value of the current source attached into the mesh 2 aap bhi hairan ho rahe honge ke isse pichli misal mein humne voltages ko consider kiya tha jabke is misal mein hum currents ko consider kar rahe hain इसकी बुनियादी वजह यही है कि पहली मिसाल में हमें वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स की वैल्यूज गिवन थी जबकि रेजिस्टेंस और करंट्स की वैल्यू ना मालूम थी जबकि इस मिसाल में हमें रेजिस्टेंस की वैल्यूज नोन हैं जबकि वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स की वैल्यूज नहीं दी गई 
لہذا ہم ایک کرنٹ کو کسی بھی میش میں سے فلو کرتے ہوئے کنسیڈر کر کے وولٹیج کی ویلیو کو نکالنے کی کوشش کریں گے ایک بات اور ذہن نشین رکھیے کہ جب میش ون میں ہم نے کنسیڈر کیا کہ کرنٹ کلوک وائز جا رہا ہے تو میش ٹو میں بھی ہم نے اس کی کنونشنل کرنٹ کی ڈائریکشن کو کلوک وائز ہی کنسیڈر کیا ہے اب جب ہم ان کی باؤنڈری برانچ جو کہ دونوں میشز کے درمیان میں ایک ریزسٹنس کی صورت میں ہے وہاں پر دونوں کو دیکھیں گے تو دونوں کرنٹ اپ ٹو سم ایکسٹینٹ ایک دوسرے کو کینسل آؤٹ کریں گے کیونکہ دونوں کی ڈائریکشن وائل پاسنگ تھرو دیٹ برانچ ول بی اپوزٹ ٹو ایچ ادر لہذا جب ہم کے وی ایل اکویشن کو لکھیں گے تو اس فیکٹر کو لازمی طور پر مد نظر رکھا جائے گا آئیے اس سرکٹ کو ایک مرتبہ پھر دیکھتے ہیں اور پھر اس کی کے وی ایل اکویشن لکھنے کی پریکٹس کرتے ہیں The KVL equation for mesh 1 will be 3KI1. Now we have written 3KI1. That will mean that I am starting to write the KVL equation from the top left corner of the circuit. And because we have considered that current I1 is passing through the mesh 1, Therefore, in terms of voltage using Ohm's law, we can write the voltage drop across 3 kilo ohm resistance as 3K into I1. Now, we pass through this resistance having a value of 3 kilo ohms and we reach at the point which is marked with the letter V. Now, when we have reached at this point, we will be looking downwards and we see that there exists a 6 kilo ohm resistance. And because 3 kilo ohm and 6 kilo ohm resistance up to this mesh, they are in series to each other. Therefore, into the same direction, current I1 will be passing through the 6 kilo ohm resistance. However, we must have to take into account the current I2 which is passing through the mesh 2 because from this branch having a value of 6 kilo ohm that current I2 will be going upwards and the current I1 is going downwards. Therefore, both the currents will be cancelling out each other. Hence, we write the value of this resistance which is 6K into the difference of these two currents. That is, we write I1 minus I2. After writing this, we reach across the 6 kilo ohm resistance and we are at the bottom of the circuit. And because we have to close down the mesh, therefore, we will be looking towards the 12 volt source. And we can also see that the negative terminal of this 12 volt source has been attached to that point. Therefore, either we can write minus 12 equals 0, or in this case, we have written the whole expression equal to 12. Now, simplifying this expression, we can write 9k i1 minus 6k i2 is equal to 12. Or further simplifying it, we can write 9k i1 minus 12. That is, this minus 12 has been calculated by putting the value of 2 milliamperes. So, the milli factor has been cancelled out with the kilo factor, hence 6 into 2, we have minus 12 and equals to 12. 
Further simplifying it, we can write I1 is equal to 2.6 milliamperes. Ab chunke humne V0 ko calculate karna hai aur ye V0 current source ke across mayor ki jayegi. Lekin is se pehle ek 2 kilo ohm ki resistance be attached hai. Lihaza agar hum us resistance ke across voltage drop ko calculate kar le to humare liye V0 ko calculate karna nihayat asan ho jayega. Lihaza hum V जो के सर्किट में पॉइंट मार्क किया गया है उसको कैलकुलेट करते हैं और फिर आगे फर्दर ट्रीटमेंट के जरिए V0 की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करेंगे आइए स्लाइड पर देखते हैं नाउ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस 6 के रेजिस्टेंस कैन बी गिवन एज V is equal to 6 k into I1 minus I2 that is once again that through 6k there are two currents which are flowing in opposite direction. Therefore, we can write after putting the value of I1 and I2, V is equal to 6k into 8 divided by 3 minus 2 that will be equal to 4 volts. As current through 2k resistor is I2 is equal to 2 milliamperes. Therefore, the voltage across 2K resistance will be 2K into 2 milliamperes that will be equal to 4 volts. Hence, for V0 we can write V0 is equal to V minus V at 2k. Therefore, we can write V0 is equal to 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 volts. Aziz Talaba, aap ne dekha ke is misal mein jo ke required output terminals ke across humne voltage nikala wo 0 a gaya hai. Yani ke is se ye matlab hoga ke dono terminals ke across koi bhi potential difference nahi hoga ya dusre alfaz mein is tarah se samajh le ke ho sakta hai dono terminals kisi aur voltage level par ho lekin dono ka voltage level ek hi hoga aziz talaba aaj ke lecture mein humne kuch sada mesh analysis और थोड़े से एडवांस मैश एनालिसिस टेक्निक को सीखा अगले लेक्चर में हम مزید एडवांस और कॉम्प्लिकेटेड किस्म के मैश एनालिसिस टेक्निक्स को सीखेंगे इन में مختلف सोर्सेस यानी वोल्टेज और करंट सोर्सेस को इस्तेमाल किया जाएगा और दो या उससे ज्यादा मैशेस का एनालिसिस बी सीखा जाएगा आज के लेक्चर का वक्त खत्म हुआ चाहता है अगले लेक्चर तक के लिए इजाजत दीजिए अल्लाह हाफिज